Hello everyone welcome to PMI College's Bohol Workshop Station. Now I'll show you in how to start the freezer compressor and chiller compressor, step by step. Step 1 switch on the main breaker. Step 2 switch on the auxiliary switch. Now that power is present, it's time to turn on the freezer compressor. That's the fresh water cooling pump. Now is the time to proceed to the other side of this room which the chiller compressor located. Now the same procedures are on the other side where the freezer compressor is located, switch on the chiller compressor's main breaker and auxiliary switch. Now that power is present, it's time to turn on the chiller compressor. Also, check the oil level of the compressor making sure that the oil you can see in the side glass that in the middle to make sure everything is working properly. There is a cycle in the freshwater cooling system from the tank to the system and then back. Now let's go together to check the freezer room if the working good or not. <laughs> The recommended freezer temperature to keep your food safe is at or below 0 degrees Fahrenheit and minus 18 degrees Celsius or below but your freezer may need to be set higher or lower depending on its environment and other factors. The refrigeration cycle the refrigeration cycle starts and ends with the compressor. The refrigerant flows into the compressor where it is compressed and pressurized. At this point, the refrigerant is a hot gas. The refrigerant is then pushed to the condenser which turns the vapor into liquid and absorbs some of the heat. The refrigerant then proceeds to the expansion valve where it expands, losing pressure and heat. The refrigerant coming out of the expansion valve is cold and slow due to the loss of pressure. It enters the evaporator in the liquid state where the exchange of heat takes place thus cooling the load inside the refrigerator. As the gas cools down the load, it absorbs the heat which turns it into a gas. The gas is then pushed back into the compressor where it can start the cycle again. <laughs> Now let's proceed with how to stop freezer compressor and chiller compressor. It's as simple as just switching off the power of the compressor and switch off the main breaker for your safety. Remember that this scenario is the same scenario when you're going on board the ship. The location of the machineries may be different on the actual ship, but the system scenario is the same. Thank you for watching and don't forget, subscribe and click the bell icon para updated Kasabago Kung upload na video salamat.